Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tom Talk Stuff. I'm Glee Man Tom, and today we're reacting to everything wrong with How to Train Your Dragon by CinemaSins. And I'm going to be honest, I think this movie's going to be hard to break. And I think CinemaSins will be awarding points, which means they'll be taking off sins for how awesome this movie is. So, without further ado, let's see what you got, CinemaSins. Let's see what you got. All right, and go. What you got? Ten minutes or less? How does the DreamWorks Fisher Boy sit on a crescent moon? The rest of the moon is still there, right? I want to know what happened to the moon. And is the Earth dead yet? And I don't care if you have bait that gives fish orgasms. Fishing on the moon usually yields <laughs> negative results. Damn, Spielberg out of Disney's <laughs> Disney by five seconds for a massive 32-second logo. This is Burke. Cliché narration is cliché cliché. Eh, it works. The problems are the pests. How does a village have the money it's to support loud. life with constant dragon attacks? These dragons are not only stealing their revenue, but also causing constant damage. And who has kids in an environment like this? Who are the real monsters here? Wooden doors, the students back and fire. My name's Hiccup. Great name, I know. Hiccup later explains that his parents believe a terrible name will ward off gnomes and trolls, but we all know it's because his parents believe in the power of cartoon marketing. I've been his apprentice ever since God I was little. started with the books. Well, littler. Hiccup means that he's weak and an underdog. But how can you work in a shop like this for years without building some muscle? And at the very least, look bigger than Shaggy. Oh, and that's fake yeah, legs. Yeah. Snot lout. The twins, rough nut and tough nut. Wait, am I supposed <laughs> to know which one is which? It feels like the filmmakers knew I'd want to be able to know who's who throughout this film, but only half uh, the solution. Killing a dragon is everything around here. But they give you names in order to ward off trolls and gnomes. Dragons, no big whoop. Go kill one. Gnomes. We need to protect you from those bitches with a terrible first name of Rudy Power. <laughs> <laughs> Work? And... Wasn't he just talking about how it needed calibrations? Wasn't he firing basically blind? Is this hey, he's not doing too bad. He's talking about because little stuff. Because Hiccup is the protagonist, this dragon chooses to bite at him rather than breathing fire or just stepping yeah. on his ass. That's not yeah. how fire works. Yeah, but he still has wings and a powerful set of jaws, right? Just because totally. sharks run out of laser beams doesn't mean they can't kill anymore. <laughs> oh, and sharks and laser one beams. one more thing you need to know. Uh, there's one more thing you need to know, narration cliche. Dad. Somehow, in this uber badass culture where even the weakling kid works with a black Stoke the best. The Hear his name and tremble. Ugh, ugh. Uh, grew into a wimp. I can't stop myself. I see a dragon and I have to just kill it. You know? That's another thing. Maybe I can see this kid growing up a wimp. Maybe. But somehow developing a Jay Baruchel accent instead of the Scottish accent these Vikings apparently possess, even though Vikings are Norse? But still, how do you get that? I have his mess to clean up. You mean the mess Hiccup made was in any way disproportionate to all the other dragon damage that occurred in the last 30 minutes? Excuse me, barmaid. I'm afraid you brought me the wrong offspring. It's like someone at Pixar just got drunk, watched this movie, swapped a gender or two, and Brave was born. If you find the nest <laughs> and destroy it, the dragons will leap. They'll find another hole. Or, or, they'll get really super and burn their entire existence to a crisp. I'm just saying, you seem way sure of this supposed outcome than you have any reason to be. Also, during the entire dragon attack, did absolutely no one die? Now who's with me? No, I don't think so. Is he the f***ing leader or what? Why is he even asking permission? I think that's the thing. Yeah, I think it, it's the, the council. The subtitles tell us that someone just said, I have to do my axe returns. The filmmakers <laughs> were wise not to make that audible. <laughs> no, I love puns. For trolls. Trolls uh. exist. <laughs> steal your socks. If all trolls do is steal socks, why are we so afraid of them that we name our children stupid like Hiccup just to avoid them? Hiccup is not that boy. Father disappointed his son isn't more like him cliche. Gotta admit, the look of this movie, which owes a lot to Roger Deakins, is downright amazing. And we can it does look at least great. three sins for that. I'm See? Three sins removed. Dragon. Well, that dialogue is awfully coincidental to your forest findings. Dragon it adorability is. is a trait I cannot believe they evolved during the time they also evolved <laughs> fire, claws, jaws, and all sorts of foolish <laughs> All dragons have a limited number of shots. How many does a Gronkle have? It doesn't matter the number because it misses on every shot. Gronkle will now waste inordinate amounts of time hawking a fire loogie so that he can be saved at the last second. A dragon will always, always go for the kill except during what about toothless i read words when you can just kill the stuff the words tell you stuff <laughs> count Steve Holt. for some reason hiccup waits until nighttime to come back to this dragon manual probably because he knows that when people learn stuff about things you need to set a certain mood movie takes its book solve everything cue from buffy and harry potter entire viking existence seems to revolve around dragons as i love that he included you know, buffy that's vikings. great Ooh, look at that tail. I'm really beginning to question your teaching method. So am I. Look for its blind spot. Every dragon has one. What? Really? But why? 
That seems like a huge evolutionary flaw, actually. I mean, should you even be training with dragons capable of wiping out your entire training grounds in 10 seconds? Our parents' <laughs> war is about to become ours. Figure out which side you're on. Okay, Astrid seems like kind of a dick. He's clearly on the human side. Just because he's terrible at dragon fighting doesn't mean he wants to see all humans killed. Jesus. Luckily, dragons She's super intense about this. that mean I come in peace. You know, despite the fact that I don't think dragons would ever evolve to be this cute, you gotta admit, Toothless is a pretty likable character. And, mm -hmm. well, he has to be in order for this to work. I'm not made of stone, damn it. Dragon that Another sin removed. Knife in the water means peace is definitely confused about the I want to pet you gesture for some reason. So, I can see why people are afraid of smaller things like snakes and spiders, but why would a dragon have any reason to be afraid of eels? Ever. Don't you mind me, I'll just back here. Hiccup thinks he can just attach his invention to Toothless's tail without him knowing or caring. And even though nothing happens, this is some presumptive shit right here. Chances of survival are dwindling into single digits now. You guys have been non-stop training for days now. Ditch legs is like all one-liners in this movie. Much less die so far. Now think about what you've done. Why would you think Ooh, you trickery. People could easily figure out your newfound cheat. I do know that, that. yeah. It's weird movie. that he, also, it, like, left the evidence Nobody see this from this vantage point. And what about this great <laughs> random person walking from outside the cage? Hey, is that supposed to be Uncle Wrigley? No, Old Wrigley. Pickup saw Toothless uh, rolling around in grass a second ago, and makes the huge assumption that holding out a handful of it will make the dragons docile. And I think again, it's like dragon no one notice this sh also, Hiccup keeps learning things with this one species of dragon that somehow work for all species of dragons. Hiccup brings a deadly and feared dragon that he loves into his town that wants to kill dragons. <laughs> and they make noise right when Astrid is walking nearby, because the script said so, of course. He can barely walk through the village without being swarmed by his new fans. That's new fans. Thing. Hiccup's popularity is such that I don't understand how a big fan of his hasn't secretly followed him to his hideout to see the dragon training. Hiccup looks at... See, in the books, it's about becoming a hero the hard way, so even when he accomplishes amazing things, um... He's not considered the hero because he's still bad at like almost everything other than big crucial adventures that need critical thought and bravery and ingenuity. Ingenuity? Inventiveness? Something. Finally, you'd think someone as suspicious as her would have figured this out days ago. What the hell is she holding on to? Her legs are in the air and her hands are in no uh, position. I, they missed the part where she hit him a couple times. I always liked dedicate five percent of its runtime to flying around. Kid flies his dragon super close to his hometown Viking village that lived for killing dragons. Tyrannus the Night Fury oh, is like can't be seen there. Yeah, it's one of those yeah. two. What are you looking at? Man, someone could score a viral hit with a supercut of all the animated movie characters who have said this to their animal sidekick in a lame attempt at comedy. Promise me it won't go wrong. Requesting unkeepable promises. I and she's like, this, but this dragon competition way too into him, way quick. And unsafe than the one in Goblet of Fire. <laughs> Toothless hears hiccup screams from. I think it's five miles away. During yeah, I love how Toothless, Toothless comes to help though. Here earlier for survival, he never found this relatively easy wall to climb. They killed hundreds of us. Never on screen though. I don't know what you're up against. It's like nothing you've ever seen. Hiccups no, they skipped it out, but he was right. They killed thousands of dragons. Size of a fucking mountain. You're not mm -hmm. my son. This asshole finally says what everyone has always known he thought, and it's presented as some whammy moment. I bet he's really frightened. No, what you missed the scene right after where it hurt him to say it. Immediately after she says this. Tom, not me, are, are wondering if there is in fact a plan at all, and what it may be. Find he's he's, he's hilarious. Oh, at first, we assume the fact that this unquestioned leader had to go to council. Now that we know there's a council, since when can Stoic just do whatever the it's hell the he wants? It's the thing! That's why he was asking for permission. A council of some sort. Now See? The thing. Because oh, they're Vikings. What they're they just into. called it sure, the thing. Sure, giving directions now, <laughs> but they had to get to this point for it to happen. How did they know which direction to sail in the first place? I'm impressed this totally male-dominated society has a woman warrior. Too bad they couldn't give her a line. I'm pretty sure that's Big Booby Bertha, but she just doesn't kind of go into the thing logical or scientific it just doesn't seem right even if the mountain is hollow and has walls this thin you're still oh thin ice with oh this ice. line has always made me laugh oh they missed it so on stoic he allowed time for an ex machina also this actually might be the worst part of a good movie how do you get dragons which fear their giant master so much to attack said master not only that these kids managed to learn how to fly dragons at the speed of improvisation it, it was very quick like oh, very Jesus, quick the and fire weren't enough phony rescue tension now we have to I get it. he definitely won't drown either scene why hasn't toothless chewed or laser breathed his shackles off yet <laughs> this is such an awesome noise he's all business but there's still that bond underneath it one sin removed for a pure character another ride. sin removed for, for every was that like Dad five so far time for this i'm proud to call you my son. It is oh a good God, time. It's later. No, it's it's good for Hiccup going into this situation. No idea there was some sort of competitive rivalry between them until this scene, nearly at the end of the movie. Luckily, it services the plot. Uh, no, no, no. 
can't believe that worked! Me either! This asshole chases them a long time without firing his killer breath, because protagonists. Well, they're both going to survive this, and the movie isn't going to give two shits about explaining it, so sin for sure. You see, because Toothless basically lost a body part <laughs> and helped him move around, it only makes sense that Hiccup lost something of his own because symmetry and stuff. Hiccup learns he lost a leg and learns to walk on the new artificial leg all in the span of one minute. This is Burke. <sighs> Repeating earlier narration, only this time with new understanding or irony cliche. It's uh, cliches can be fun. hails the other three. That's hilarious, but not only is it nice and sunny as you're saying this, but I don't think I see true. snow or hail in this movie. Maybe it's it was snowy earlier on. I don't remember. I think it. Do, I don't even think it rained. I think they just happy ending, but uh, have scenes right after it rained, so everything's this is slick a and tragedy. wet. If you think about Toothless lonely and on his own for decades after Hiccup dies, kind of like that Futurama episode about Fry and his dog. Only 82 cents. Thank you for nothing, you useless reptile. <laughs> well, they had a few. They had a few points, didn't they? Uh, I'm going to hit that like button. Boom. I am one of 77,000 that hit the like bucket button. Woohoo. Well, that was fun. I, I really did enjoy that. That was better than I expected. Um... They had a few good points. They had a few good points, but they were nitpicking here and there too. I mean, their first sin came from the the uh, Pixar uh, DreamWorks kid fishing in the clouds. I mean, because they had to reach for him a little bit, and they took off like five sins because of how great the movie was, which it was. The movie's great, but uh, they did they did have a couple good points. <sighs> There is an everything great about How to Train Your Dragon, right? Right? Ooh, let's watch that next. All right. All right. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm, I'm, I'm doing nothing with this. Uh, yeah, like and subscribe. Totally. Um, if there's anything else you want me to react to, put it in the comment section below. And uh, my question for you is do you think they oversend it or do you think they didn't send in enough thank you so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day i'm glee man tom saying i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day <laughs> oh, i'm horrible at this outro intro stuff take care everybody wherever you are morning afternoon or evening take care peace out Bye.